Okay, so this is practice paper three, and we're just looking at question one. And we've got a list of numbers here, and we've got to use these numbers to help us find each of these answers. So write down all the multiples of four. Well, multiples of four just means in the four times table. So we're just looking for things in the four times table. So five, twelve is... and 28 is now that should be our two marks because it's just two numbers one mark for each let's just check 42 can't be because 40 is and 49 isn't no so that's it two marks all well, the factors this time we're asked for factors which means the numbers that go into um, 100 so 5 goes into 100 17, 25 goes in, it goes in four times, doesn't it? And then that's it. That's our two numbers. Square numbers, well that's one times one, two times two, three times three, etc. One times, no, no. Oh, we just have to write down a square number. We don't have to write all of them in this case. So 25, or you could write 49, so it's 5 times 5 or 7 times 7. You have to have it as an or, you don't have to have them both in this case. I write down three numbers that have a sum of 100. Well, if we try and match up the numbers that go together nicely, um, well, 28 and 42 go nicely, don't they? So what does that make? That makes 50, 70, oh, and then we've got 30. Well, that's it. We're done then. 28. 30 and 42. Remember, sum means you've got to add product means you're multiplying. Okay? Sum means you add, multiply means, product means multiply. Okay? End of the first question.